Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish. Craftopia is pretty awesome. Craftopia is a open world building crafting adventure game which has many many elements such as from using your bows and arrows to sword fighting to carrying two hand weapons and many many more throughout the game. You, as your own hero, ended up destroying planet Earth and was called upon by the gods to restart everything and build your own completely new world. Now this game has taken a lot of inspiration and I'm going to rule out some of the list. Zelda Breath of the Wild, Age of the Empire, Pokemon, there is loads of inspiration from this game but it's also really 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 fun because when you start off, you start off on an island and then you end up um, you know, learning new things, building new things, and discovering new things like dungeons and animals and all sorts. And um, once you end up progressing through the levels, you end up going to different islands, which are ten times bigger than the first one you've ever been in. It gets really cool because there are NPCs all over the islands as well, some of them are. Or, you could build your own town. How cool is that? You could build your own town. Now, currently the game's early access, but for what they've done so far, it's absolutely wonderful. And every month, these guys will be adding new content. So we're going to do something completely new, where I'm going to show you the key features of the game uh, in an actual gameplay. And then I'm going to tell you what I think about the game so far. Now I took the liberty of making a new world so I can give you an example of how to get started on Craftopia. As you can see, I've got a, a perfectly good level character, level 22 I guess. I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments if they are a huge Craftopia fan saying, Oh yeah, that's nothing compared to what. But for me, I'm taking my time and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So first of all, let's start off with crafting. So, uh, if you press I, you go into your crafting. And then you'll see these types of other things. You've got your mining, stone pickaxe, and wood axe. So you start off with a wooden axe, basically. And then, uh, once you've got a wood axe, you can use a wood axe to at least still break these. But you only get two stone per hit. And then, uh, once you can actually craft something, uh, you can also cra you can end up crafting a pickaxe. Here's an example here. And you'll see... 2 to 13. You see what I mean? So, the higher the pickaxe goes, the more resources you can get in one pile. If you ever want to, like, go up in the world, or start going up in the world, you use one of these. Which is a very necessary tool in every single island you visit. And we'll get around to that very, very soon. Exit stone workbench. Now we'll be able to get, make bows, arrows, gliders is, an, is a must-have. On your in your person right now it's a must-have for reason being is it will never get destroyed it will never go away but instead of just throwing your things away i would make a market reason being is anything you don't want or have which are worth a lot you can use to um sell things next thing you want to do is place the alter civilization now Place it in anywhere you want, but for this demo, we're just going to be placing random stuff so we can show you what they're like. Now, going back to where I said get yourself a glider, it's a necessity, and trust me it is, because uh, coming down for high places is a lot better. You'll know how to use it. So yeah, it's it's a lot better as you can see. It feels nice to glide around though, I will give you that. Now all the altar's built, you can now have a look here at different ages. So currently we're at the Stone Age, which we need certain resources. As you can see, I've already prepared and got the resources already for the, the next evolution, which is the Archicultural Age. There is so much stuff on here, and the cool thing about it is, uh, with the updates, every month, uh, they'll always add a lot of new things in. Um, as an example, uh, the machete here, combat tier 3 level 5 berserk, that's, I don't know, I believe, 
cooking pots to a couple of blacksmiths to livestock farm, breeding farms, potion brewing stands. You know, it's, it keeps going on. But there is more coming soon, not just uh, these four. Industrial Age, Age of War, Age of Dragons, and Age of Gods. There are stuff that's going to be processing. There's going to be different. There's going to be a lot more ages in the following months, and uh, there's also going to be a lot of more items in these ages. So remember, when you evolve your age, you still get to use all these, so you don't need to worry. It's just adding loads of bonuses. So we're going to go over and process this age. Also, do note, it does take money as well as resources, so that's where the money comes in. Not only that, you'll end up going to different islands where there's actual towns already been built, and you end up meeting merchants there where you can buy special weapons. Now, as I said, uh, this is one of the desert villages, but the other villages I've been to are like a proper town, like literally proper town, and... At the moment, we can't find it because I, I believe that's on another save. But this is kind of the example I was talking about. The blacksmith. Some NPCs will off ask for quests to say, which, could you fetch me this and that? Which is nice. So let's give them that. If you do complete the mission, you do get rewards like what I've just got now. And again, they've got their own place set up. Uh, currently, this is the um, currently this is the desert biome. So you're not going to have like proper towns with windmills like on the last one I spotted. You also have merchants as well in the game. They also offer all sorts here, like this, for instance, the Great Sword of Demon, dude. Not even I knew that, and I'm trying to do a tutorial. I can now show you how the Pokemon effect comes in with this game. There we go. What is he doing down here? Now, the worrying thing is, as it says, it looks like this is going to break. You can repair it, but it does cost money. Every time you repair it, your durability goes down, and that's not a good thing. So keep that in mind. But let's get to what we just discussed, uh, what we just captured. So if I want to set them out, they will be my pet. So I could, I guess, get, put them on a engine to keep on running to get the power working. Or have them come around with me. But with the updates, they will be able to, uh, you'll be able to command them sooner. With certain dungeons, there's always a boss. Then again, some islands end up having bosses. And he's literally chasing me. Oh god, no! Ah! Yep, I've outdone him. Let's run. So yeah, the game is very dangerous as well as awesome. And now to the final thing. Final, final, final bit. Then we come to the final bit of this gameplay. And that is building yourself a portal. Oh, the thing is, there are currently over 120 islands to look and find and explore. That's big. That's really big. So, yeah, 120 islands. I'm not kidding. Look at it all. There is a lot. Starting off, you can either pick this one or this one. Either way, enemies are a level way. And, you know, as it keeps going, you end up encountering harsher environments, harsher enemies, and cool new dungeons, cool new monsters, really. 
Now this is very interesting. If you're wondering why uh, I just said it's interesting, because this island kind of shows you and gives you an idea of what biomes you can discover. You've got your fire biome, ice biome, desert biome, and forest biome, and even just normal biome. Alrighty, as you can see, this, this island's pretty big, so we need to step it up a notch. We need something very useful. And this is the coolest thing on this game. I love this thing. Literally craft your own hoverboard. We need to get... This is a good way to uh, explore the island a little bit more. Oh, you can even pull tricks. So, with the game itself, it is massive! 120 islands to explore. Think of it as well with the updating and adding new stuff like Terraria Mount. Nearabouts from what I've seen. <laughs> but they do have a roadmap, which is amazing. The links will be in the description of what they're planning on doing and maybe what they've done. I'm going to tell you some of the continuous things they keep doing. Uh, you've got character making skills, performance improvements, buildings, hack and slash, enemies, weapons, dungeons, islands, vehicles, growth, inventory, combat enemy, explore vehicles, craft cooking, pet system, alchemy, enchantment, fishery, vehicles on water, main missions, missions, Pet commands, customizing vehicles, events, weather patterns, season events, improved multiplayer. Oh, by the way, did I tell you it's co-op? Skin equipment, populations. Uh, in a way, you can build your own population to a town and uh, supply them with food, etc., etc. The farm's quite good already, so they, they, I, I can't, I can't say no to that. Uh, they're also adding tanks, assault rifles as well for the uh, for the industri either in the industrial ones or the war ages. Um, as in the trailer, I did notice someone riding a damn tank. <laughs> and also flying planes as well. Don't forget flying vehicles. That's going to be good. Uh, my problem with the game so far, because... Well, it's stuff that's, that can be fixed, really. You know, you've got your building that definitely needs to be improved. Like, you know, instead of it just being a snap building type thing, you can have it anywhere. Uh, another one, maybe, would be um, breaking down the island like an animal. You know, like Animal Crossing breaking down the island could. So you could actually put fit houses on there. Um, foundations, I'd rather have them as blocks instead of them being a thin thing. So that way you can, if you build a, a house on a, like a hill or something, uh, it'll look a little bit better. The grass, when you build your foundations, they stick out the floor. That's very, very annoying. But that, uh, again, that, I hope they fix that because that, that is really, really distracting. Improved combat system would be a little bit better so you can like lock onto an enemy. That would be really good. Um, at the moment, it's an alpha combat system. That's all I can think of, really. I think most of the problem I found uh, is just building stuff, and that's about it. That just needs to be improved, really. But I've only discovered a few islands, and I know for a fact later on in the game there's just going to be so much. I'm like, oh, dude, it's just going to be amazing, you know? Um, for what they've done so far, everyone's praised these guys. In fact, they've got a mostly positive and a very positive review. Personally, I think that is very deserving. Um, considering of how much fun I'm having with this game, uh, even with a friend, it's even better. They've met, like I think if they made it single player, um, it would be good, but not as good as it is now. Um, with with the multiplayer system, I have so much fun playing with uh, my friends. Currently, the game is 19 pounds and 49p, and that makes in American money 25 dollars and 56 cents. Um, for its price, I would pick it up now, but I feel like they'll be uh, making the full price of probably $30 or so. So the game is fun, the music's wonderful, it has a lot of inspiration to everything. Heck, you can even have your own pets, that's cool though. Boss fights which are really fun. Making your own food system is even better, you know, with the cooking bot you can absolutely make anything depending on what ingredient you have. Sword making, enchantment, NPCs. Then in the future, they're going to add the main quest and missions. I tell you one thing, though, that's not a bad 
that's not a bad price for £19.49. And that is it for Craftopia's review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I'm Cornish, and if you haven't, subscribe to the MGM channel. And now I'm going to go and play Craftopia, because I missed that already. And you take care, and have a wonderful day.